Yo, now I don't know why Nike continues to do things like this when they know something big is about to happen. But hey, I ain't tripping. The sneaker that they about to drop is gonna have a huge twist to it. So with that being said, let's talk about it, man. Y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll mop, camera please. Yo. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you are interested in streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below and let me know you are now a part of the tribe. Now, over the weekend, I was just looking through and trying to find like what new sneakers I fire, and then I came upon these boys right here. Now, the new MXBWs are dropping real soon. Now, we're trying to figure out actually what date they will be dropping. Now, with it being Air Max Day coming up very soon, which I side note, I am a huge fan of. I do this every year. The only reason that I didn't wear them last year because, I mean, the situation that we was in with COVID and I was like, eh, what's the point when I'm on the inside of the crib? But, like I said, Air Max Day is coming up really soon and these are about to release, but we just don't know what day it is. Now, I'm hoping that it will be dropping just before Air Max Day so I can actually get these and I can actually wear them around. Maybe I can get a pair for tea and I'll be, hopefully they come out in a variety of sizes. But, like I said, these will be coming out. Now, it's been 30 some odd years since this iconic Air Max BW have released and it continues to grow with popularity. Now this time around, they have actually revamped it now and they have updated it with new colors, which is the iconic red and black, the sport red and black, which of course symbolizes something very popular when it comes to the sneaker culture. Of course, you're talking about Chicago. Not only with that, it also resembles like the Nike Air Max that they released, which is also a huge impact when it comes to the sneaker culture. And now that it's coming back in 2022, they have put a nice, twist to this sneaker. They have mesh, leather, TPU, and more when it comes to this sneaker. I love the design, the pattern, the color, and let's just hop right in. Let's just talk about this. Now, first thing first, I do see myself wearing something like this simply because you can wear it both streetwear, casual, and as a lifestyle sneaker, so it blends in multiple ways. Just looking at it from the side, you can see that this looks more so like an iconic old school type of trainer. It doesn't have that crazy updated stylish pattern that everybody is wearing nowadays they still have this retro gray look that's upon the sneaker. So the silhouette is perfect. This is meant to be a trainer shoe, something that you can move around in, walk around in, run around in, and you will still be able to look good in. Now, when I first look at this sneaker, the first thing that sticks out to me is the Nike swoosh. I love that it has the rubber outside that sticks on the outside. It's more of a 3D print. It's like an attention getter. That's exactly what it is. It's something that's real chill, but actually it gets your attention at the same time. Now, when you look at the interior, entire silhouette my favorite part is that the entire silhouette more so looks like a sports or racing car which is something that's always been huge when it comes to the air max collection now on the other hand they have small stripes of red that's on here which i actually enjoy it may be something small to you all but i actually think this is something big they have a stripe that starts from the outer sole to the mid sole and then goes back to the heel of the sneaker which i actually love i think this is fire this is something that actually catches my attention and i think it will actually catch the attention of other people as well. Now I also love this smooth black leather that they have going that's starting at the upper and going all the way around to the front of the toe. I think that's fire. Something simple, something light, something quick, but it's still fire when it comes to the sneaker. Now speaking of the toe area, you all know I love on top of a toe. If you have mesh, I am a fan of it. Why? Because that means no wrinkles. Plus you will actually have a sneaker that breathes, man. I dislike a sneaker that cannot breathe because that means your feet will be foul. But in this case, this is fire because it gives the opportunity for your sneaker to bend. I love mesh. Now in the back of the heel, they have Air Max that's printed on the back and that's in rubber and I actually love that as well. It sticks out like a sore thumb. You'll be able to see what type of sneaker this is while you're walking away. Of course, it's gonna catch people's attention. And on the top of the heel, you'll see that it has like this puffy ankle area. I think that's more comforting for a lot of people, especially when you're walking with Air Max. Now, I know for a fact when I walk in my Air Max 90s, sometimes they can be a little stiff on the back and they can rub you on the heel and they can also cut the back of your heel. 
but in this case they have this cushion that's on the back that I think is absolutely fire and it's more puffier it gives you more cushion on the back and they put a slap of red on there that sport red will make this look fire it's just simple pieces on the entire sneaker that makes this all come together and create a fire sneaker now lastly what they have is this puffer embroidery that's on the tongue I think that's fire as well I'm happy that they didn't put the lettering in white that would have made it even more too much in your face I'm glad that they left it a monochromatic feel like they left the entire tongue completely red like I said I feel as if they would have put white up on there or if they would have put black trimming or anything around it it would have just stuck out a little bit too much and then I would have felt that it was just doing a little bit too much calling for a little bit too much attention and of course I cannot forget the legendary bubbles that's in the air pockets so you all see that as soon as you look at the sneaker you already know what it is the moment that you see any air bubble in the back of the sneaker you know that simply this is an air max right off the bat so shout out to Nike for creating this sneaker and making it revamping it to make it even bigger than what it is and not even having to go too crazy with designs and everything you use simple pieces put a lot of different simple pieces together and made another iconic shoe I think this is gonna be a legendary sneaker for a long time I do feel that the Nike Air Max collection will never not be a topic of discussion when it comes to some of the most legendary and iconic sneakers now for those who want to know how much this sneaker costs it is going for 140 that's a good price for it because usually I think it's going from like 100 to 150 so it's still staying in the price range of the iconic sneakers so 140 is gonna be a good price the only downfall here is that we don't know what date is gonna drop and we don't have an idea when it's gonna release on sneaker app so we don't know if you're gonna be buying it in store or if you're gonna be buying it on an app so we're not too sure about that which they need to let us know ASAP now if they release them on the Air Max day I mean that'd be cool and all but I wish I'm hoping that they actually do this maybe a week or two weeks ahead of time so people can actually buy it it could ship to their house they could wear it on Nike Air Max day and celebrate this special day hopefully they do it for Nike Air Max day I'm hoping that they don't make us wait forever and make it go to the summertime I hope they don't but yeah I wanted to talk to y'all about that real quick drop those comments down below let me know if y'all think that this is a fire sneaker or not I actually do I'm a fan of the Nike Air Max collection and now that seeing that they are dropping the Nike Air Max BW and revamping this again and giving this to us again they don't remix this the right way i think they done it perfectly for 2022 let me know if y'all feel the same drop those comments down below hit that like button if y'all really feeling this video and of course when you're supporting me make sure y'all hit that thumbs up so i appreciate y'all watching this video as usual man i'm about to get up out of here i'll catch up with y'all next time i'm your homeboy cam quarter banks i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all peace